And I've noticed that structural engineers on forums online tend to be disgruntled with their jobs and leaving the industry. Like, oh my goodness, what do they do to you, man? What's up, structural engineers? Today, I'm gonna be answering some of your questions and comments, and we're also gonna be celebrating surpassing 65,000 subscribers. Wow, that is all thanks to you. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, thanks for supporting the channel. And thanks for all the engagement and feedback that you've given me through the questions and comments. I know I don't have time to answer and respond to all of them, but I do read each and every single one. And what an honor and what a privilege it is for me to make these types of videos and help you out in your career. So thank you so much. Let's get started. So the first two questions that are kind of similar are from Mina Akbar and from George Martinez. Mina asks, do you feel fulfilled being a structural engineer? Is it everything you ever hoped it would be or not at all what you imagined? And George asks, was civil engineering as a major career what you expected it to be? And when did you get interested in civil engineering? So do I feel fulfilled? Hell yes. Uh, for me, this is one of the major things why I went into structural engineering for is to make a huge impact on the environment and being a part of the design and being a part to be able to take all the science that we learned, all the physics that we learned in school and actually use that to build something positive for the community. I love designing and seeing the buildings get built, seeing the buildings get used. So yes, I feel very fulfilled being a part of this profession. Now, is it everything I hoped it would be? No, not exactly. Like with any profession, any job, there comes the not so fun parts. I personally don't like going to all of these meetings and doing a bunch of coordination and handling changes and redoing work, but that's part of the industry. And the good parts for me, the design work and coming up with all the problem, sol problem solving solutions that we can come up with and doing a great job for the client and the architect. All those fun things for me far outweigh the bad things. So overall, I'm still fulfilled. I'm still pretty happy with it. And how did I get interested in civil engineering in the first place? It was basically when I was a kid and watching some of those uh, science TV shows where they were doing buildings. I think one that stood out was the Taipei 101 tower and how they use that damper, basically the engineers solving problems that you wouldn't even know would exist. And those buildings wouldn't be possible without the structural engineering in those. So that's what first got me interested in civil engineering. Next question comes from Noah. Hey Matt, I'm currently working on my master's in structural engineering at Georgia Tech and just accepted a full-time position for when I graduate in the spring. Congrats, Noah. And I've noticed that structural engineers on forums online tend to be disgruntled with their jobs and leaving the industry. Do you think this is representative of the industry as a whole or just a very loud minority? I'm laughing because it's the internet and I've always said the Reddit forums, if you're pissed off in your job and you just wanna vent, you got nothing to do. You're gonna go on those Reddit forums and talk about how bad of an experience that you've had. In my opinion, especially like the Reddit forums, I do think that is the disgruntled minority. On the internet, one person sounds like a hundred professionals. And if you're happy with your profession, like me, we're enjoying our work. We don't have time to go on the internet and post on forums and how great it is. We're enjoying our lives. Except me, I'm doing YouTube videos about it. But that was like one of the reasons I, I did it because no one was doing it. I know that's how you younger folks get your information. You just Google stuff. You don't even talk to the, the real professionals that are in the industry. So look, there's good and bad things about the industry, like with anything. So if you're really interested in structural engineering and you want to get into it, go do your research. Just don't stick to the forums. You can read those. There's probably a grain of truth in, in those comments as well, but talk to the professionals that are actually doing it, that are actually enjoying the work. Go meet them at professional events or reach out to them in LinkedIn. If you want more data-driven facts about the happiness of the structural engineers, uh, SE3 did a survey of structural engineers in the US, you know, asking them all sorts of questions such as how satisfied are they in the structural engineering industry. I'll provide a link to their surveys below if that's something that you're interested in. And it's great because they're actual structural engineers in the US that are taking those polls. The next questions come from Sage Sensei, Wong, and Leo. Essentially asking how much free personal time I have as a structural engineer and your work-life balance as a structural engineer. How do you balance your work and your love life? I think my work-life balance is pretty decent. I work about 40 hours a week. That definitely increases during deadlines. So there is that ebb and flow of my schedule. 
But for the most part, I'm doing my own thing after work and doing my own thing on the weekends. When I was first starting off in my career, I really got into the hobby of uh, Latin social dancing, such as salsa, bachata, and even zouk. Man, I would go and practice like uh, three or four times a week and go out at night and go dancing practice for the dance teams and the dance competitions that I was in. So I was really into that and I had time to do that after after work. A couple years in, I got injured. I couldn't really dance that much anymore. So I switched to YouTube and that's one of the reasons I got this YouTube channel. YouTube's still my hobby and I enjoy it. It gives me a chance to practice my creativity and come up with new ideas on how to help. And I also enjoy just chilling out, watching Netflix, watching some anime or playing Final Fantasy 14. And how do I balance my love life? Easy, I don't have one. That's probably why I have all this time to do all these other things that I really like. I've been in a long-term relationship before and I know how fulfilling it can be, but also how much time, effort, and commitment it takes to maintain those relationships. So if you have a family and you got kids and you got a husband, you got a wife, I commend you for at least trying to have some work-life balance. I don't know how you do it. Maybe I'll figure that out someday. I'll open up girlfriend applications after I'm done with my SE test. Next question from Quick Question engineering. Can you go over your story on how you became a YouTuber? Points like what mo motivated you to start the channel? Any courses or video editing courses or did you learn on your own? And what's your vision for the future of the channel? What motivated me to start the channel is essentially I had mentors and people that I would talk to in the industry that helped me learn about the structural engineering industry and what it's like and what the opportunities are in there. And I was fortunate enough to have that. I know a lot of young students don't have that or they don't want to go and, and look for that so they just you know they go on the internet i know that's what you do you go on the internet and what's structural engineering like and i did the same thing i first went you know way back then when i was uh, still in a in engineering school that's what i would type i'd google what structural engineering like and back then reddit would pop up and you would just see all these horrible comments from people that hated their lives like oh my goodness what did they do to you man like they were just writing the the worst comments ever and then i talked to the professionals that were in the field and it was completely different the viewpoints and then i went to the internships and got to find out for myself and I really enjoyed it, the pros and the cons. So that was my main motivation, especially after going to a recruiting career fair uh, a few years back before I started the channel. I talked to the students and they would still tell me the same thing that they'd hear all this stuff online and there wasn't anything positive on the internet still. I thought there would be, but no one wanted to do it. So I knew I was probably gonna be the only one that was gonna be able to do it or have the willingness to do it. And man, I did not wanna do it. I was giving myself all sorts of excuses as a natural introvert. The last thing I wanted to do was be on camera and be judged by hundreds of people. But I knew that was the best way to make an impact, especially with the younger engineers. They're gonna go online and if there's nothing good online about the structural engineering industry, that's all they're gonna see. And courses, hell yeah, I took a lot of courses. I took uh, video editing courses, I took YouTube courses, marketing courses, public speaking courses. That was one advantage in my mindset, even though I was an introvert, I knew everything was just skills. You can learn it, you can learn anything. Just practice and apply it, and that's what I did. And my vision for the future of the channel, I wanna continue doing videos like this, talking about the structural engineering industry, ways we can improve it, where the industry's going, and what it's like to be in the structural engineering industry. And I wanna take you on the journey and the struggles that I go through as I'm going through it. It's not all rainbows and butterflies. There's a lot of obstacles in the way that you have to get past. There's ups and there's downs. And if you're in a particular low point, hopefully me sharing my low points as well can help you get through it. I also wanna get more into the technical content, maybe on some tutorials on structural engineering itself. I'll probably either put that on the channel a little bit later once my exams and things calm down a little bit. Or I just might make a separate channel particularly just for tutorials and all the technical stuff, all the numbers. Next questions are from Miggy and Engineer Lapuk. Are you Filipino? Can you speak Tagalog? Yes, I am Filipino. I was actually born there, but I came to the US when I was very young, so I don't know how to speak Tagalog. Just a few phrases. Alam ko sinasabi mo. And for Miggy, I just want some Filipino advice coming from you, Engineer Matt. Not sure what Filipino advice is, but some general advice. Technical skills aren't everything. They're important and you need to know them, but there are other things that 
that can make you a better engineer. So don't neglect those areas. Take a public speaking class, reach out to professionals. There are other skills that you can learn that can make you a much better engineer. If you have the technical and the soft skills, that will take your career pretty far. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And thanks so much again for helping support this channel. It's just crazy how we've been able to grow and give structural engineering some more exposure. I know it's been helping a lot of the young professionals and the students to see what the structural engineering industry offers, the pros and the cons, so that they can have more fulfilling careers. Thanks as always. I'll see you next time.